Nord Pass is something I've touched on briefly in my last review of both free and paid for password managers. However, as I've seen a few comments now on those videos, I've taken the time to make a separate video as we look at the specific details of Nord Pass. And it came in perfect timing because Nord Pass themselves contacted me directly to ask if I would take a look at their software on my channel. So uh, thank you Nord Pass for sponsoring this video and thank you to everybody who has commented asking me to take a look at it. First up, of course, for those first timers, hi, my name is Pete and I make videos around tech, business sometimes and finance stuff. So do subscribe if you want more of that and don't forget to go find that like button and give me a click as it genuinely does help me out here on this weird career of being a YouTuber. So first up a quick anti caveat, so to speak. You heard that this video was sponsored by NordPass and they have given me a free license of the paid for password manager. However, all opinions here are my own, both good and bad. And if anything, when somebody pays me to make a video, I almost feel obligated to try and find the bad stuff more than the good stuff. So, uh, well, let's see how it goes. So we're gonna use the ground rules from my previous password manager video, as then at least they're all in line with each other and makes it much easier to compare. And after, if you think NordPass is the one for you, I'll leave a link in the description below where NordPass have set you up with a seriously generous discount. So use that link below to sign up and well, thank you NordPass. You're welcome. What we're looking at today for NordPass is security, ease of use, support, any major frustrations, and of course, pricing. So jumping straight into security, and it does support 2FA out of the box from the likes of Google Authenticator, Authy, and Duo, and you also you can use biometrics to secure access when using mobile. Hardware 2FA is kind of there with the likes of YubiKeys, though a Reddit post online explains that you need to go and use the Yubico Authenticator alongside the YubiKey to get that one-time password. And NordPass is also using the more recent XCharChar20 encryption algorithm, which is actually better and newer than many of the other password manager apps out there, including 1Password and Bitwarden, so just point to NordPass right there. One we covered in my last video, which was any embedded trackers, and with the Android app for NordPass, there were four trackers found, three of them for tracking and reporting any app crashes or bugs, and the fourth is from AppFlyer, which which is a marketing tracker and personally I'm against this as I'm not sure why you need a marketing tracker embedded within something that contains sensitive information. I mean, I know why because, well, marketing, but I'm definitely not a fan. And that's not to say anything untoward is going on here as you saw in my recent video, LastPass had seven trackers and amongst other things, that was a big no-go for me. So one to just be aware of if you're really security conscious. Now we did speak to NordPass about this and they informed me that AppFire is being getting rid of very soon and may have already been removed at the time of you watching this video. However, the date stamp from the Exodus privacy report that this came from is reporting from version 2.17 of the Android app on the 22nd of Feb. Now I'm currently on version 3.7, so that would seem that they've done a fair few updates since then. NordPass also gives you password health reports and data breach notifications if your you know, passwords ever get leaked online. Both, again, really nice features to have so you can stay on top of any security breaches. For ease of use, well, I have to say this is definitely one of the more pleasurable experiences when migrating data. Nothing too complicated, but it's nice to get a summary of the data you're importing and, and to get the breakdown of passwords versus credit cards versus personal data. Uh, yeah, just massive big check there. The client itself, I, I think this might win the award for the best looking client so far. I mean, it is super clean, no distracting or unnecessary options. The only slight annoyance I saw was when you launched things like the, the data breach scanner or the password health, then it popped up in a new window, which was then always in the center of my screen. And I have this stupidly large screen where I normally push small apps like this to the side, so that pops up into the side of the screen instead. The built-in password manager is also similarly clean and lets you easily you know, change the length and characters and, and all of those kind of things. Sharing passwords, again, really clean. Easy to set permissions, though an issue I have seen for me at least was that there doesn't seem to be a way to create custom fields. The mobile client, also well, really great. Works with biometrics to unlock without having to type in your master password all the time. Nice and graphical by looking up all the you know fav icons, I guess, for each of the websites. All of these apps just look new, you know? Which isn't far off as this is a relatively new offering in the password in kind of management app market. So what I guess I'm saying here is that they've just done a really good job of designing something which is really nice, clean, and really nice aesthetic. So, so yeah. Congratulations on that one. For those of you wanting to get into your passwords when out of mobile signal, then you can view passwords offline, but you can't edit them. Something which would be nice to have, so if you do need a password manager that works, you know, that fully works offline, then you'll need the likes of 1Password or, or Keeper, though watch my last video on why I wouldn't personally recommend Keeper either. On the mobile side, I found the process really easy to set up and it was filling in the passwords within minutes. I did have an issue on the Android side with it not filling in passwords on certain websites like kit.co, I completely uninstalled and reinstalled the app and tried changing a few settings, but right now that's with their support team to look at. Which conveniently brings us on to the next item, support. They have online chat, which is a great start. They answered quickly and I didn't have to queue for ages like some of the other apps that I found before. I had a lovely chat with Rachel who took me through the usual troubleshooting steps and I actually sent over the support logs from within their app, which they looked at whilst I was with them on the chat. 
rather than what I was expecting of a, uh, you know, we'll take a look and come back to you. So yeah, really great experience with support. For uh, major frustrations, Major baggage. Well, other than the Android issue, which I have half a feeling was just me as I'm basically an Android newbie for anyone else watching my recent iPhone user switches to Android videos. Other than that, I don't really have many, any issues really. Full offline access would be nice to have for me personally, but that may be not as important for you as it is for me. And I think, well, I think that's it really. No, no real actual frustrations. For pricing, it's one area where Norpass is really, really strong, like one of the best. £1.84 per month for their premium tier with their current promotional pricing. And if you also use the link down below, then that price comes down to something like £1.05 per month. So almost half price from like the original price. Unlimited devices, unlimited passwords. So yeah, that is really, really great when looking at the pricing, which gets you a really straightforward, clean, almost like minimalistic password app. I really like it. So recommendation time. And it's a relatively simple answer. If you are looking for a clean, simple, dare I say minimalistic, but secure password manager, then Norpass is a great option. And when you also factor in that price, as well as that massive discount, well, damn, that is a really strong contender. For me personally, I won't be switching because I do need things like that full offline password access, but it is a really good option for, for others, like I mentioned before. Take a look at my other videos around the best free password manager and my best overall password manager here and here. Please do subscribe to the channel for more videos. Click the join button to become a member for no reason at all. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye-bye.